In this Digi lesson, we will cover animals, we will identify different invertebrates, we will answer this question, what is the importance of invertebrates? There are millions of millions of animals that exist. With this large number of animals, scientists put similar animals in groups. This is called classification. How are animals classified? Animals are classified into those with a backbone and those without. Vertebrates are animals that have a backbone. Invertebrates are animals without a backbone. Vertebrates are animals with a backbone. A backbone is also known as a spine. Vertebrates include fish, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and mammals. Animals without a backbone are called invertebrates. Invertebrates can be seen in our localities. You will find them in the school compound, in the garden, and in areas in our communities. Invertebrates have a shell that protects their soft bodies. Some have a hard outside covering called an exoskeleton. Insects are examples of invertebrates. Examples of insects are butterflies, houseflies, bees, fleas, mosquitoes, grasshoppers, weevils, and cockroaches. They have three body parts, namely head, thorax, and abdomen. Insects have six jointed legs. Insects use wings to fly. Not all insects fly. Spiders, ticks and mites are also invertebrates. These are not insects. They have two body parts. They have eight legs. They have no wings. They do not fly. Millipedes and centipedes are invertebrates. They have long bodies made up of segments. They have many legs. Centipedes have one pair of legs on each body section. Millipedes have two pairs of legs on each body section. Snails, slugs, and octopuses are also invertebrates. What is the importance of invertebrates? Bees and silkworms produce useful products. Bees produce honey. Silkworms produce silk. Insects such as flying termites and locusts are eaten in some communities. Snails and lobsters are also eaten. Bees and butterflies help in pollination of plants. They play a role in reproduction of plants. Pollination leads to formation of fruits and seeds. Ants and earthworms aerate this oil. This makes it suitable for plant growth. Some invertebrates are harmful to humans. 
animals, and plants. Spiders and centipedes can bite. Weevils destroy crops. Mosquitoes, lice, fleas, and bedbugs are harmful to animals and human beings. Ticks, tapeworms, and some types of mites affect both humans and livestock.